Hello everyone, it's your host Cyber, and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about a project called PS2 Classics Vault, or most of us um, say or call PS2 um, PS2 CV Store. Um, if you don't know what PS2 Classics Vault is, it is a project that is dedicated on preserving the classics of PlayStation 2 titles. And they preserve a lot of 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 titles to allow um, people who love the PlayStation Two to play their favorite PlayStation Two titles on their PS on their PS Three. Um, unfortunately, in order to use these titles, you need a console or PlayStation Three who's that that is utilizing custom firmware or HEN in order to run any of any of their content, even the store itself, because the store is not signed, so it can't run on official firmware. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you their website. So if you go to this website, um, it takes you to their homepage. Um, I'll leave the link in the description, so you can go definitely check that out. Um, and you'll see there's a bunch of information you can read over here. It gives you a little, little title. So PS2 CV Store is an application built for the PlayStation 3 system to allow you to enjoy playing the classics you enjoyed as a kid. Playing Play over 240 and growing PS2 classic titles right from your PS3. PS3 and no PlayStation V3 is included. Um, you do not have to worry about it. We got you covered. Um, it gives you important notices where if you're to download... Um, PS1, 2, 3, PSP Classic Vault games, they have to be directly downloaded to avoid installation errors. I had, um, I do have to to say this is a downside to using this version of PKGI because it is using PKGI as a base, as its base, and it already has everything set up for you, so you don't have to do anything specifically to, on your end, to get this working. All you gotta do is refresh the store, and then boom. Um, it tells you there's different information such as its size, when it was last updated, and the current version the application is currently on. Um, if you're not convinced, it usually has a Why Choose Us um, section where it tells you, it gives you um, a little bit of snippets, um, such as there's 100% end-to-end encryption, um, full access to our library of games, and compatibility mine. And let's get started. So let's, let's read these. So our services offer end-to-end -end encryption to ensure your download is safe and secure so you can enjoy downloading games 100% safely. Um, get full access to our full game library for PS1, PS2, and PSP games directly to your PS3, free without the need of a PC or no PlayStation, and no PlayStation as well is included. Our services ensure all our, our PS1, PS2, and PSP um, games are 100% compatible with all models of the PS3 and are fully converted to be 100% playable on all these models. And then you have their Patreon, which um, you get instant, um, I guess, instant, uh, what you call it, uh, um, perks for joining a and them as a member. And you can see that on the website itself. Um, they have a database of all the games that they have uploaded and is available um, through the whole entire service. And this way, that if there's a game that you want, but it's not, if there's a game that you think that you want to know what game they have available, you can check out their database and it tells you, and you can look to see before you go over and request the game. Um, they have also subreddit too. You can head over and check out. And it has basically everything from um, Scarface, it has everything, every, it, all, it has, I think, over 240 games, nearly 300 games, I'm assuming, but, uh, yeah, so, this is a whole list, it gets updated regularly, every time a new title gets up, up, uploaded, and hopefully, we get every single PS2 title. Now, uh, the downside to, to, to using this service is, again, you need custom firmware, or you need Slot or HEN in order to run them. They are not official by any means. They are all custom um, with fixes or anything that fixes that fixing them. There are also so games in here that that used to have issues that that had fixes for them. For the, I know which one, which one was it? It was, I know which one was Crash Twin Sanity. 
Freshman Sanity, for the longest time, had an issue where whenever you loaded up the game um, in the loading, it would freeze in the loading screen every single time. There was a fix that came out that they apparently um, did, was, did, um, and that would fix the freezing issue, so now you can play the full game without any issues, and I'm really happy about that. Uh, there's other games that were once not longer working, but now are available to work. Um, if you're considering, or if you're asking either, can I access the site on my PS3 directly? Yes and no. The original version of the website is accessible to the PS3, but it's still like it's not perfect. It's all like messed up because it's thinking it tricks it to thinking that it's a mobile, but it really isn't. And half of the things don't function properly because, yeah, it's it's a mess. But they have um, created a portal where you can go enter the website and just put slash PS3 at the end, and it takes you to a PS3 version of the website that's compatible with the PS3, so the PS3 can load this. Um, the way how you download this is that you can use, there's two ways you can do this. You can basically download it to a flat, to an external USB if it allows you, or and if it doesn't, you can use a plugin using from Ultimate Toolbox um, called Download, a download, enable download plugin, and allows you to download to where you are in your storage, and boom, there you go. Um, you have you have here web apps. Some things are not available. They're still working on that. You have if you're if you need to install Hen, they have they got you. They have the installer. They have the BG tool set, so you can prepare your PS3 for uh, <coughs> for for um, to use the service. And they also have a fact. So if um, if you're having any issues, you can provide here and see if there's anything that that the fact can provide to you. Um, with and um, hopefully get your whatever your issues um, you have. Um, as I said, there are some downsides to this. Um, there are some ups and downs with this application. This application, I'm gonna go start with the ups. The ups is that it's using PKGI, so it's one of the world's trusted applications. So it's reverse engineered using their source code to um, bring you what we can, what they can offer. Um, and two, um, uh, it has no pay station, so you don't have to go. You don't have to worry about adding that too. They have it included with their own in their own database. Um, the third, the last thing is upside is that the application's already set up. So all you have to do is basically launch the application and click refresh, and then refresh the list from their servers. And then boom, you're all you're done in there. And they usually update um, the no pay station whenever no pay station um, pushes on an update. So the last update was two weeks ago, so they haven't really pushed anything out yet. I, I don't know if they did, but you know they usually post it on their subreddit whenever uh, they they uh, they do update it. Um, the downside to this applications, this application is one. Um, there's only mostly one thing. Uh, there's actually two downsides. Uh, the first downside is that, as I said here, the important notice is um, all their games that they provide has to be directly downloaded. People in the past, including me, has background downloaded these games, and whenever they try to install it, they get an install error. Up install error, and even though that the game is recognized and stuff like that, they still get an they get still get an install error, and what by what the developer of this application noted um, was that the PS3 doesn't know the PS3 and the server does not know how to properly close the connection properly, so it downloads extra data that doesn't exist and breaks the installer, um, even if the installer is recognized. So when you directly download it, which is direct down the direct DL is automatically you know <coughs> enabled by default. That's why if you go in the fact. It tells you um, about this issue, and it tells you how to fix it. Um, um, you can only direct download them. They direct download through a secure server, so they're they're one hundred percent secure between end end. So you don't have to worry about your system getting you know hacked or anything through that any means. <coughs> and um, once you once it finishes downloading, depending on your native connection, um, 
you can install it and without no issues. The the second issue, the second downside to this to the to this application using this versus the regular PGI where you could just put no PlayStation is that um, if you need want to download something like a non -pay, no PlayStation game in the background, you have to manually switch to background back DL every single time. It, it, so it can be a very pain in the ass, and it can it's just it's just not not, not good. But you know you can't blame them. They try the best, and who knows if it'll ever get ever all get fixed or changed. But who knows? You know, um, there was another upside to this application, but I completely forgot, so I do apologize. Um, so, yeah. So, oh yeah, the other upside I just remembered. Thank you, thank you, YouTube. Um, was applications. This game, unlike PKGI, the original version, this version has a shit ton of applications from homebrew apps, regular apps. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Now the only thing that that they don't do is they don't do PS3 game requests. They don't do they don't they don't mess with the PS3 games as much. Um, they do have Call of Duty World of War and Godfather 2 as a digital download, which is nice. <coughs> but still, you uh, do need to directly download those those two and their licenses, etc. It's very complicated. Um, but they seem to have a lot of stuff that the original PKGI doesn't have. And unlike the original PKGI vanilla, that one you can just add sources to yourself and then boom, you're done. But PKG, um, PS2 Classes Vault does everything just automatically and you don't have to, you don't even have to do much. You just install the application and run it and boom. The, the only downside, that the only thing that's, that, the, that the developer has, re has recommended is that do not install PS2 Classic PS2 CV Store over the vanilla version of PKGI. It has been known known that it will cause how you say fuckery with the application. So you'll get an unexpected bug that you never previously encountered, like games not fully finishing, games erroring out, or the list not properly being loaded because it is trying to stretch a different server. At the same time, um, or lists not showing up properly, or games not being when a game new game comes out, they don't get updated properly. There's a lot of issues that can happen, and they're unexpected. The developer does not know how to why, but he recommends you to uninstall your original version, original PKGI, and then install PS2 um, CV Store as a fresh install. Otherwise, that that's how that's basically PS2 Class Vault. I just wanted to explain it. I'm not showing you how to. I'm not gonna show you how to install it, um, or, but I will gladly, you know, leave any information regarding their project. Um, they're not affiliated with Sony, so you know, that's one thing. Um, otherwise, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a good day. See ya.